three point shot successfully made by four players in a five games in the commissioner's cup so thompson um his score is seven four five seven and ten pugoy two seven eight four eleven kabagnot three six three eight eight and chan one five nine ten and five so they want us to find the mean absolute deviation of each set of scores and then find the variance of each set of scores and then find the standard deviation of each set of scores and then d who is the most cons consistent three pointer and who is the least, least consistent three pointer so let's work with um this guy first thompson so his score so this is um tom son so his score is seven four five seven and ten seven four five seven and ten so the first thing we do is to find the um, mean so mean or the x bar is equal to the sum of x over n so this is equal to 7 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 10 is equal to 33 and then n is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 there are 5 um, scores data so x bar is equal to 33 over 5 or this is equal to 6.6 .6. now the first thing we the next thing we do is to um, create another column x minus x bar so x is 7 and x bar is equal to 6.6 .6. so we have 7 minus 6.6 .6 is equal to 0.4 and then 4 minus 6.6 .6 is equal to negative 2.6 5 minus 6.6 .6 is equal to negative 1.6 7 minus 6.6 .6 is equal to 0 0.4 and 10 minus 6.6 .6 is equal to 3.4 and then let's make another column here x minus x bar squared so we square this column so 0.4 times 0.4 is equal to 0.16 so 2.6 times 2.6 is 17.576 and then 1.6 times 1.6 is equal to 2.56 and then 0.4 times 0.4 is 0.16 and then 3.4 times 3.4 is 11.56 now we need to sum this column since the um, formula for standard deviation s is equal to the square root of x minus x bar squared all over n minus 1 so this is the sum the sum of x minus x bar so we need to sum x minus x bar so we add 0.16 plus 17.576 plus 2.56 plus 0.16 plus 11.56 is equal to 32.016 so we plug this one in square root of 32.016 all over n is equal to 5 minus 1 so this is equal to 32.16 all over 5 minus 1 is 4 so this is equal to 32.016 divided by 4 is equal to 8.004 and then we take the square root of 8.004 we get 2.83 so this is the standard deviation so they ask us to find the mean absolute deviation so this is the mean um, to find the mean absolute deviation so this is a mean absolute deviation or just um, for math for short 
So we take the absolute values of this one, x minus x bar, and this negative is going to be all positive since it's in absolute. So we have, so this is equal to 0 0.4 plus the absolute value of negative 2.6 plus the absolute value of negative 1.6 plus um, 0 0.4 plus 3.4 and this is all over 5 so 0 0.4 plus 2.6 plus 1.6 0 0.4 plus 3.4 is equal to 8.4 now, absolute means ignore the sign, so this negative numbers is just, um, they become positive. So, this is equal to 5. So, this is equal to um, 1.68. So, we answered the um, A. We answered A, mean absolute deviation is equal to 1.68. So, MAD is equal to 1.68. This is A. And then B, they want us to find the variance. So variance is this number, just 8, or this um, the squared of the standard deviation. So variance is equal to the squared of the st of standard deviation. So variance is equal to 8.004. So, this is the variance. So, this is B. And then C, the standard deviation. So, this is C. C is equal to 2.83. So, now let's do um, this guy, Pugoy. So, let's do Pugoy. So, x or the data scores for Pugoy are 2, 7, 8, 4, and 11. So, the first thing we do again is to find the mean, which is the sum of x all over n. So, this is equal to 2 plus 7 plus 8 plus 4 plus 11 is equal to 32. And n is equal to 5 because there are 5 scores for the 5 um, points. So, x bar is equal to 6.4. So, the next thing we do is to make another column, x minus x bar. So, 2 minus 6.4 is equal to negative um, 4.4. And then 7 minus 6.4 is 0. 0.6. 8 minus 6.4 is 1.6. And then 4 minus 6.4 is negative 2.4. And then 11 minus 6.4 is 4.6. And then we make another column, x minus x bar, and we square this column. So this is equal to 19.36, 0 0.36, 2 2.56, 5.76 and 21.16 and then we sum this column so we add all of these numbers and we get 49.2 and then we um, write the um, standard deviation um, formula which is the sum of x minus x bar squared all over n minus 1 so this is equal to the sum of this which is 49.2 all over 5 minus 1 so this is equal to 49.2 over 4 it's equal to the square root of 12.3 or s is equal to 3.51 now the variance is equal to this number 12.3 so this is the standard deviation this is the variance. Now we have to find the mean absolute 
ball, absolute deviation, which is the um, sum of x minus x bar. So we have um, the absolute of 4.4 plus 0.6 plus 1.6 plus the absolute of negative 2.4 plus 4.6 and this is all over 5 and this is equal to 13.6 all over 5 or this is equal to 2.72 so mod is equal to 2.72 Now, let's do the next guy, Kabagnot. So, his scores are 3, 6, 3, 8, and 8. So, let's find the mean. X bar is equal to the sum of X over N. So, this is equal to 3 plus 6 plus 3 plus 8 plus 8 is equal to 28 over 5 or x bar is equal to 5.6 so let's make another column x minus x bar so this is negative 2.6 0.4 negative 2.6 and then 2.4 and this is also 2.4 and then x minus x bar squared so this is 6.76, 0.16, and then 5.76, and 5.76. Now we add this column and we get 25.2. Now to find the standard deviation, S is equal to the sum of x minus x bar squared all over n minus 1. So, this is equal to 25.2 all over 4. So, this is equal to square root of 6.3 or else is equal to 2.51. And the variance is equal to 6.3. So, we have to find the mean absolute deviation or MAD. So, we add this um, absolute of 2.6 plus 0.4 plus the absolute of negative 2.6 plus 2.4 plus 2.4 all over 5. And this is equal to 10.4 all over 5 or this is equal to 2.8. Now, the last guy, Chen, his um, scores are 1, 5, 9, 10, and 5. So, let's find the mean. X bar is equal to 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus 10 plus 5. Or this is equal to 30 over 5. And X bar is equal to 6. Now, let's make another column. X minus X bar. And this is minus 5, negative 1, 3, 4, and negative 1. Then x minus x bar squared. We get a 25, 1, 9, 16, and 1. Then we add this column and we get 52. And s is equal to the sum of x minus x bar squared all over n minus 1 so this is 52 over 4 or this is equal to square root of 13 or s is equal to 3.61 now the variance is the um, squared of the standard deviation which is equal to 13 now the mean absolute deviation is the sum of x minus x bar so we have the absolute value of minus 5 plus the absolute value of minus 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus the absolute value of minus 1 and this is all over 5 so this is equal to 14 over 5 
or this is equal to 2.8. So now we answer A, B, C on each of the um, scores. And so now they want us to find, they also want us to um, answer D and E. Who is the most um, consistent three, point, three pointer? So look at, let's look at their um, deviation or the standard deviation. Thompson have a standard deviation of 2.83 and um, Pugoy is 3.51 and then Kabagnot is 2.51 and Chan is 3.61 so the um, Kabag Kabagnot has the um is the um consistent three pointer so d so let's answer this one d d it's kabag not so who is the consistent um three pointer it's kabag not because um his he has the smallest um standard deviation who is the least consistent three pointer? So whoever the um um have the highest um standard deviation is the um least consistent. So this one is two point eighty three, and this one is three point fifty one, and Chan is three point sixty one. So it's Chan. Chan is the um, least consistent. So Chan, because he has the um, highest um, standard deviation.